from Forex Traders Daily. This is your daily analysis with Ross Mullins, live from Richmond, Virginia. Hello, everyone. This is today's video analysis for June 30th, 2017. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the USD JPY, the US dollar versus Japanese yen for today's trade analysis. Over the past several days, we've seen a pretty strong move higher for the dollar yen as it bottomed down, down here into the 109 level. It started moving up. Hesitating at a couple of specific intervals, it found congestion around this pink shaded area. The bottom of this black box right around 110.90, 110.65 moved up. Found a few days where it found congestion between 111.45 and 111.20. And then it broke out and moved up. And now we're in this area between, we'll call it 112.45, the blue zone, and the green zone, 112.00. Let's go ahead and zoom it in on this so we can see this a little bit better. So here we go. There it is moving up. Found a little congestion in the pink zone, the orange zone, and now we're sitting on top of the green zone. Again, 112.05, 111.85 is the green zone. We also find that the 100 period simple moving average sits right here just underneath the current market. In fact, one, two, three days now we have been above the 100 period simple moving average as we view it here on the daily time frame. So as long as it's above there, we expect there could be support above the moving average and the possibility of the continuation of the rising trend pattern. Fibonacci from the low, the last low that we see here on the chart and our most recent resistance high puts to 236 right at the green shaded area as well, right in the middle of the green shaded area. The 3A2 sits down here at the orange zone. So for the time being, as long as it's above the green zone, like it was the past two days, we would suspect there would be some support here and the fact that it could continue the rising trend action that we've seen over the past few days. Not only is it sitting above the green zone, the 100 period moving average and the 236, you follow it back here and that green zone is really there because of this last resistance high. So we're sitting actually on top of that last resistance. We all know that historical resistance can help us identify future support. So resistance becoming support, 100 period moving average, 236 fib, all of that giving us a clue that we could look for some support here and the continuation of the uptrend. The risk is pretty easy to figure out as well. The risk is we don't want it to break underneath there. We don't want it to break the 100 period moving average because the likelihood one, then once it does that is that it at least goes down to the orange zone. The two, uh, 382 Fibonacci retracement level lives there in this last area congestion. 50% by the way lives down here at the pink shaded area that we started to find congestion within the uptrend and the, the 618 all the way down here towards this yellow zone. So we really just want to see it stay above the green zone, above the 236, above the 100 period moving average and the historical resistance for the turn back higher. Minimum to the blue zone, that would be back to 112.30, 112.45. Likely better would be the pressure towards the last resistance high into the 12.70, 12.85 level. And then, of course, beyond that, we'd look for a new challenge and a new high to be made for the US yen today. From Forex Traders Daily, this has been your daily analysis with Ross Mullins. If you would like to get Ross's analysis on all the currency pairs he's watching and all the trades he takes today, join him in his live trade room by clicking on the link below. Please leave any comments you have about today's video in the comments section below.